Is it too late to buy the three bedrooms in Sterling Residences at this point in time? Hello everyone, I'm Vivian from Propedia and this channel is created to share in-depth research for properties all across Singapore. Today, I'll be analysing the three bedrooms in Sterling Residences. Sterling Residences is a 99-year newly completed mega development located near Queenstown MRT. There are a total of 1,259 units and out of this, 263 units belong to the three bedrooms. Today, I'll be running through this video by two main factors. First, it will be layout and last, timing. This video is for you if you are a buyer still looking for a safer purchase at this point in time. The first factor I want to touch on is layout. There are four main unit types when it comes to the three bedrooms. First, it will be the Type C1 and C2 unit at 883 and 893 square feet. The main difference between the two is the placement of the third bedroom. Next, we also have the 3 bedroom plus store which is 980 square feet. Last, we also have the 3 bedroom premium and this 1055 square feet layout is the only one that has a store and WC in the kitchen area. The next question is, which would actually be the first choice out of all the floor plans we have seen earlier? To determine this, let's first look into the surrounding developments and that is Commonwealth Towers and Queen's Peak to understand the demand of this area. Commonwealth Towers was the first to TOP in this cluster back in 2017. Similar to Sterling Residences, their three bedrooms come in two types. First, it will be the 904 square feet three bedroom compact and three bedroom with yard at 1033, 1055 and 1076 square feet. From their transactions, we can see that the three bedroom with yard is more profitable and recorded more transactions than its three bedroom counterpart. In fact, let's also cross-reference to the project right beside Commonwealth Towers, which is Queen's Peak, to dive deeper into the importance of this factor. Queen's Peak was another new development which TOP in 2020, back when Commonwealth Towers was a 3-year-old project. I think if we put ourselves in the shoes of a buyer when we compare both developments side by side, and if both of them are at the same price, we would naturally prioritise and want to look at Queen's Peak, which is the brand new development, right? But then, let's look at the layout. Here, I've laid out 8 different floor plans for the 3 bedrooms in Queen's Peak. If you look carefully, there is one similar characteristic for the 3 bedrooms here. Most of the units, be it compact or premium layout, do not come with a proper enclosed kitchen. On top of that, all their common bedrooms can only fit in a single size bed. Therefore, if we compare the 947 square feet layout to a similar size unit from Commonwealth Towers at 904 square feet, it is quite evident that Commonwealth Towers would have a much more functional floor plan because it has a proper kitchen and all their common bedrooms can fit in at least a queen size bed. When it comes to buying a property to maximise profits, we must first understand who are our future buyers and what are they looking for to determine the demand of our unit. When it comes to a 3 bedroom, I think we can all agree that the bulk of the demand comes from families buying for their own stay and functionality of the layout is one of the most important factors. This is why, after comparing, it is very likely that the 3 bedroom buyers of this area would still prefer Commonwealth Towers even though it's older and this is actually reflected from the profitable transactions. As you can see here, those owners who sold before Queen's Peak TOP earn a profit between $118,000 to over $230,000. Whereas those owners who sold later actually saw a surge in profits and even the second owners actually earn a handsome profit of close to $300,000 to over $450,000 and that is almost double than the profits before. Now going back into Sterling Residences, the floor plans in general are definitely more ideal and competitive in comparison with the surrounding developments. This is because even the smallest 3 bedroom compact comes with an enclosable kitchen and proper sized bedrooms. If we compare it to Commonwealth Towers which is now a 5 years old development, coupled with no more potential new supply of condos in this area, I feel that the 3 bedrooms in Sterling Residences will definitely remain competitive in the resale market. This brings me to my last factor and that is timing. And most importantly, how this will be an opportunity if you are a buyer. To explain this, I'm going to refer back to the transactions of Commonwealth Towers. 
the average price for a 3 bedroom compact is about 1.85 to 1.88 million, while the average price for a 3 bedroom premium is about 2 million to 2.2 million. This means that it will cost an extra of about $320,000 for an additional yard, utility, and WC here. Next, let's compare the prices of Queen's Peak. On average, a 3 bedroom compact transacted between $1.72 million to highest $2 million. Whereas a 3 bedroom premium cost $2.1 million to highest $2.18 million. This means that it will cost an additional of about $200,000 to $300,000 for an additional WC, yard and utility area. Now, let's look at the transactions of Sterling Residences. We can see that based on today's filming, the 3 bedroom compact 883 square feet is very similar to the price of the 3 plus yard 980 square feet and 3 bedroom premium 1055 square feet at around the 2.1 million range. And this is exactly where the opportunity is. Firstly, we can see that on average based on Queen's Peak and Commonwealth Towers, the price gap of the 3 bedroom compact and premium is about $300,000. But yet in Sterling Residences, there is no significant price gap for the 3 bedroom here yet. Secondly, if we compare the 3 bedrooms across the 3 developments in this area, although Sterling Residences being the newest development, which should rightfully cost a lot more, prices are still on par or even lower as compared to Queen's Peak and Commonwealth Towers. Therefore, my advice for you if you are a buyer is, if you find a premium unit at a similar price tag to the 3 bedroom compact, even if it is on a lower floor, please make the 1055 square feet as your priority of your purchase as I do foresee the price gap widening very soon. On top of that, you have already seen that there is a demand for bigger units and buyers do not mind paying a premium for a better layout. Most importantly, this is the kind of research that has to be done when purchasing a unit in uncertain times like this. That's all from me today. Do contact me for any professional advice and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.